Chasey Tarot. Welcome back if you've been with me before and if you're brand new, welcome to Chasey Tarot. Appreciate you being here. For those that are new that have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and like, share. I would really appreciate the support from my channel. My girls and I, uh, I've used their um, first three letters of their names to come up with Chasey Tarot, which I'm very passionate about. I love being here. I love doing this for you. I've been into tarot cards since I was about 13 years old. Your cards are already starting to drop out after I meditated on them for you and shuffled. I'm shuffling again. Whatever they drop out for you, I feel they're meant for you. I'm going to do a reading for you now with this traditional rider weight. And then there will be an extended version of this reading available on Vimeo after this. If you're interested, if you feel this resonates for you if this is your story you're feeling it in your heart your soul this is your story this means it's meant for you if you don't feel it then it's not meant for you okay maybe the next time it will be and just because I'm doing this for November 26th to 30th that does not mean that it's only meant for you during those days it could any of these energies any of these things can occur two weeks from now six months from now three months from now okay so if you're feeling any part of this and this is definitely for you and if you're not it's not for you if you are feeling it and you want to go to the Vimeo extended reading of your reading here which will be even longer and I'll pull more cards from other decks like the Colette Baron read here I've got I have the Angel Oracle cards and I have um, the uh, Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue as well we can get any love messages for you too by clicking below on the description box. Okay, so that's available for you as well as virtual gift cards for the holidays at shasey.com, S-H-A-S-I-E.com. Let's go ahead and get started. You have the Hermit card. This is a major arcana. Now, major arcana in your life is something that is significantly occurring within your life. Okay, this usually signifies that you're having to go within to find some truth, some solitude. Maybe you've been through a rough period. Okay, so however that may resonate for you, you could be healing from something that's happened in your life. You just need to chill out and relax and you're just trying to find solitude right now. Okay, and you're wanting to definitely hold on to with the four of pentacles, you're wanting to hold on to your stability. Maybe you're fearing some change here. Maybe that's why you're going into the hermit mode. Okay, because you're fearing some kind of instability is occurring or gonna occur and you're holding on to your coins and your stability for all you can. Somebody has a message of truth for you, perhaps with a page of swords or perhaps you have a message of truth for somebody else. You have just found out the truth about something which is causing you to go through a period of wanting to hold on to your stability and find some clarity in making further decisions, whatever that may be for you. Okay, the Page of Swords also speaks about possibly like somebody could be checking in on you, um, could be spying on you through your phone phone messages, texts, or messenger, or however that may resonate for you. Somebody could be, you know, keeping an eye on you and spying on you, or you them. That could be, and it could be over a money situation. Um, doesn't have to be. It could just be. You know, maybe you're feeling unstable at the moment and you're doing some research and you're spying into things. That could be as well. You've got another major arcana here with the world, though. This is completing a, a life lesson usually, okay? You can see it's going in a circle. You've completed a life lesson. That means completion. And now you're going to enjoy some success and rewards after this. Sometimes it means that you may be traveling, okay? But let's carry on here and see what else we can find out. Libra, please. Any love messages for Libra? Any love messages here for Libra? November 26th to November 3rd, 2018. So far, I'm just mostly seeing here that you're trying to hang on to something. Now, this doesn't always mean that you're hanging on to money. It could be hanging on to relationship, but usually pentacles signifies material wealth, okay? Fearing change and hanging on to money. Trying to make decisions. You have the king of swords. So this is air energy. This is you. It's Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay, so you could be dealing with another Libra or an Aquarius or a Gemini. It's somebody that wants to speak the truth usually. This king is very, very powerful in his thought. Okay, he's very strong-willed. Uh, he likes to get to the truth. And we've already seen that there seems like there's a message of the truth. So someone could be speaking their truth to you or you to them. So take that how that resonates. And it could be that 
maybe they've met someone from their past or you've met someone from your past you want a reunion with them that could be the six of cups represents you know a past usually like a it's nostalgia so it could be a visitor from the past or it could just be a friendship from the past it doesn't have to be a love relationship it could just be a friendship from the past returns and you know there's a gift an, a, an offer of a gift here and someone wants to speak the truth about it that could be or it could just mean that somebody's planning on having a reunion with someone from the past and they're speaking their truth about it because a page is one who gives messages or they're spying or you are or they are whoever you're thinking about could be spying or checking in or researching on an, a love from the past that could be doesn't have to be just take that how it resonates this is for many many libras out there so if it doesn't re resonate for you then this is not your reading that means that you can ask me you know for a private reading at shacy.com s-h-a-s-i-e.com i have different opportunities on there oh and i also do live readings now so if you want to do a facetime or a skype live reading you can do that that's also on the website that's brand new libra please any love messages for libra you have the magician so you or your love interest is manifesting manifesting what we're not sure yet we're going to continue this is also major arcana okay the magician is one who has all the tools to make things happen in their life so what spirit is saying is you have all the tools in your life to make things happen you or your love interest or both of you okay you can see now we've got here we've got We've got a wand, we've got cups, we've got swords, and we've got pentacles, which is coins. We have everything we need to make changes in our life, but you still have to put in the effort, okay? So you may be hoping and wishing for change and trying to make the changes. Eight of pentacles means someone's working very, very hard, very hard on their money. They're concentrating solely on mastering their craft, their work, whatever their career is. They're concentrating on it they're wanting their stability again holding on to their money holding on to their stability wanting stability working hard to get their stability that's what i'm seeing you have the king of cups here so this could represent a water sign in your life so you have two kings here you have the king of swords and the king of cups could be one of the same people this king again could be very strategic in their thought with the swords here likes to plan likes to cut out any crap gets to the point of the matter very strong it's all mental energy they're there they don't think with their heart they think with their head and then you have the king of cups that thinks with their heart but they're also very strong-minded they don't let their heart overtake their mind okay they're balanced in their emotions for sure this king is also very loving okay this king is very um tolerant and empathetic okay this could represent a scorpio pisces or cancer in your life okay and it doesn't have to be a love interest it could just be somebody in your life from your past that's very supportive um a close friend that you've come in contact back with after many years libra please any love messages for libra i'm not seeing like a ton of love here right now i'm, I'm just mostly seeing you have the six of cups which could represent someone passionately coming in from your past wanting to give you love but it could also be a very close friendship that's returning okay you have the hero font hero font is another major arcana or it could be a taurus in your life okay the hero font is someone who believes in the tradition of marriage they're very spiritual they could be religious, but they believe in the unity of marriage. They believe in tradition. Okay. Could be you. Could be your partner, whoever you're thinking about. Maybe they, you know, maybe they are thinking about marriage with you or someone from their past. Or you're thinking about someone from your past. Or you've just become, you know, quite spiritual yourself. That could be. And there's choices to be made. You know, do I accept this love from my past or whomever this may be? What direction do I go? And what will happen when I get there if I make this choice, if I make that choice? So many choices to make. Maybe fearing the instability if you make the wrong choice. 
you may be researching to make sure you don't make the wrong choices or someone else's. They're very careful in planning out a future. Maybe they want a future with you, whoever this is. Okay, and so they're working really, really hard to make that happen. That could be. And they may be manifesting, working really, really hard. They're putting in the effort to make this really work and making all these different choices. Someone staying up at night worrying and worrying could be going through a period of depression and anxiety, worrying about holding on to money and stability. That could be. So take that how that resonates, okay? Let's pull a couple more cards and then we're going to go over to the Vimeo Extended Reading, which I will pull a lot more cards from different decks. We will clarify. Sometimes you'll come up with double cards, which double clarifies that this is, this is true. This was meant to be. You have temperance. So this is guided by the angels, whatever changes are occurring in your life right now. And you're asked to have the patience, okay, and find balance, which is Libra, finding balance. Okay, you see she's trying to, the angel is trying to balance the cups here. You could be going through a period of healing after having a lot of anxiety and depression. You're going through a period of healing. And it's guided by the angels. Before you can get to this love relationship, you need to heal. That could be from whatever, you know, you needed to go into hermit mode over. You obviously have a lot of choices to make that you're thinking about. You're trying to find clarity. You're trying to find truth. Um, maybe you're trying to find trust again. See how he's holding on to these coins? It could be like holding on for dear life because you, you want to find trust again and you're having anxiety over it. Maybe you're having trouble finding trust again after something happened in your life. That could be. And so you're wanting to hang on to that. You're wanting to hang on, like not moving forward maybe as fast as you could because you're sometimes when we've got so many choices, we don't make any. Okay, it may be just because you're going through a period of depression right now and having to heal over whatever it is you're, you know, worrying about. Okay. Maybe you're worried that somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's keeping secrets. Maybe that's what you're worried about. Could be. We're going to go into the Vimeo Extended Read. And again, we'll pull some Colette Baron Read cards for you. I'm just going to straighten your cards up here. We'll pull some Colette Baron Reed cards for you and some Doreen Virtue Romance cards, see if there's any love messages for you. I also have some cards here from my childhood that I've had for years, and I pulled them out the other day, and they really speak to me big time. It was like they were just dropping out. It was just unbelievable. And sometimes the messages are just so scarily on point. There's your next cards for your Vimeo that... I was just like, wow, you know, um, and again, I've had them for, wow, I think like, I'm trying to think here, like, th mm, probably about 25 years, 20 years, something like that. Anyways, they're the Enchanted Tarot, and they look like that, and it's just, they're so smooth and easy to shuffle, but the messages were like flying out, like really good. Anyways, I'll see you at your Vimeo extended read. I hope this resonated for you. Please leave me any comments, like subscribe and share it. Really appreciate it. And for those of you this resonated with, I'll see you over at Vimeo. Click the arrow down and you'll see the Vimeo extended link there for you. And I thank you so very much for your support, likes and shares. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.